eventuality enshrines the rhythm of this rise of time. Lending lyrics to the melody of moss bearing trees, while festooned in the mosaic of a zealot bursting with blue. There are moon struck moments when the whispering of the marsh sings praises to the coupling between land and sea, asking how many mysteries of this existence does the river contain? Like the soil contain, might we poetically proclaim in words as well as shadows. And whose bones, like tabby, infuse the aggregate of this foundation, towering charms, casting enchantments, such that no devastation shall ever despoil this village indebted to the sea. Encroach upon this tidal river rising, devouring all duplicities whole. And so I give you blank page poetry, words and shadows, if ever these rivers should speak. What nameless and untamed eventuality enshrines the rhythm of this rising tide? Lending lyrics to the melody of moss bearing trees, while festooned in the mosaic of azaleas bursting with bloom. There are moonstruck moments when the whispering of the marsh sings praises to the coupling between land and sea, asking how many mysteries of this existence does the river contain? Might the soil contain, might we poetically proclaim in words as well as shadows? And whose bones, like tabby, infuse the aggregate of this foundation, empowering charms and casting enchantments such that no devastation shall ever despoil this village indebted to the sea. And how many voices, including our own, has it taken to speak this tone into formation? We, the me and you of low country living, in order to invoke a more inclusive union, embrace the spirits that give voice to this land and uphold their lyrics to be as that of our own, enshrining their memories in this rising tide of poems. Yes, we, the beneficiaries of Tomo Chichi's mind, of Clinton Powell's rhymes, of verses echoing across time, find reasons and the ways that incline towards this beach to write, spit, and preach much shit in provocative words and ways. Yes, we, the word sharks of thoughts that can find no rest, of Oglethorpe's intrusive quest, of ships bearing slaves, now guests encroach upon this tidal river rising, devouring all duplicities whole. And so I give you blank page poetry, words and shadows, if ever these rivers should speak. In the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, we 
belief in both Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But this year, I hear about Sarah, Miriam, and Naomi. Maybe next year, Rachel, Sandy, and Betsy. This year, I'm thinking about Rachel Carson. I want a school named for Rachel Carson. She stood up to science, she stood up to men, and then she died young of cancer. We're poisoning ourselves, she cried. But it's for half her culture, the farmers sighed, snide, DDT. Pesticide, we want DDT. But the birds, they're dying, can't you see? And the rivers, they're drying, the rivers of death. Herbicide, 249, cheaper than mowing. We don't have time to mow. Rachel Carson wrote for the people not the scientists, the people. They understood. Picture the time, World War II, America, when science was God, science was man. Go chemical warfare. It worked in Japan in our bombs. Let's try it in our forests, our rivers, our fields. Technology, the new king, today's bling. Poison, it will kill everything. This from Rachel Carson, the outsider, the aquatic biologist, the quiet observer, the woman. <coughs> Fast forward to the 70s, to Asaba Island, when another woman stands by herself between another Hilton Head Island and an island of hogs and armadillos and, well, can you say quiet? No paved roads, no airstrip, no t-shirt shops, but big taxes out of the blue. Sell the island, Sandy West. Sell the island. Jackie Kennedy wants it. Aristotle Onassis wants it. Sell it. Go for the bucks, forget the ducks. I can't, she says, I can't sell the island. I will find a way to save it. And so she does. She's the woman who saved an island. Greed is the enemy. Overreach, excess. Gimme, 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 me, me, me. I want a big dock, and I want it now. Build it. I don't care if the big dock blocks the rack, massacres the marsh, freezes the flow. Enter the rack wranglers. I am a rack wrangler. Marco, Polo, I'm right here, says Dr. Dan. I'm over here, says Betsy Kane. Together we move rack like wranglers move cows to higher pastures. We push and we prod the pile of dead grass with nowhere to go. We clear the way. We make a path the way nature intended. If there were no big dock in the way, can you say? three football fields long. <laughs> Sail on marsh grass, past the big dock, past greed. We will help you breathe. Sail on Rachel, Sandy, Betsy. We are listening. We are watching. He was 
Martins escort to Union soldiers, conductor underground, reader of rivers where Savannah meets the ocean. He was March Haynes, interpreter of tides, rolling and unloading cargo from rice fields to the river, leading lives to Cock Spur Island. He was March Haynes, wise about wildlife, flying, swimming, crawling, more free, more free than he. He listened along the march to crickets and bird calls at Fort Pulaski with wit as his weapon and freedom dreams for few. He was March Haynes escort to Union soldiers, conductor underground, reader of rivers, where Savannah meets the ocean. can still feel the beat of the doom doom deep and dark. I can still see the sand vibrating across Angola's golden land as we dance and I can still hear praises through rhythmic phrases as bodies wildly swaying in unison crashing with the wind, crashing with the wind, crashing with the wind. I can still taste the clay on my lips. Hips crash with the wind as sparks crash into our men as their bodies wildly swing in unison. One by one by one they swept up our mothers, fathers, daughters, and sons, and I can still hear the waves crashing in the wind. I can still hear the chains rattling like two gold seeds caught in the wind. They silenced our hymns so they would no longer be heard in the wind. Old souls rose like biddies in the wind. Ships stole with our kin and sailed with the wind. Salt, sweat, death mixed with the wind till it hurt to breathe in. The Akan, Madenka, Mali, Gambia, and even Sierra Leone shared this voyage we were on. 
And for days and months that lasted way too long, our, our fragile bodies would crash against neighboring skin from the Atlantic storms. And when the beast had gone, those who remained still were given to the ocean to feed on. I know we sailed on the blood of our very own. I can still hear the wind. I can still hear the waves crashing in the wind. I can still hear those men talking about taking the disease to Tybee's West End. Said there was a place there called Lazaretto or Pest House. We, we just had nothing left now. No name, no village, just chains and back stains of anger like we would have blamed it. Taken to Savannah City Market to be exchanged for change. Everything just changed. I can still hear the wind. I can still hear the waves crashing in the wind. I can still feel the beat of the doom doom deep and dark. I can still see the sand vibrating across Angola's golden land as we dance. And I can still hear praises through rhythmic phrases as bodies wildly swing in unison. Hips crashing with the wind. Sparks crash into our men as ships stole with our kin and sail with the wind. So that a new path, so that a new path could begin.
One stream emerges from the mother river who unfolds her way to the great water. She opens her mouth and drinks Savannah sky, the blue horizon. Her daughter coughs, sputtering yards of ash from a coal fire plant Savannah nuclear solutions doesn't solve. My mother, my river, why do they throw their liquid waste down our throats, their bile blisters, the silver inside our mouths? Their acids bore holes through the scarves of our tongues. Listen to us whistle while we struggle to speak. My daughter, my other, I and the river from whom we flow together, open your mouth and drink the blessed sky, your father with you forever. Let his clouds soothe your blistered holes, the only gifts the guests, the specks will ever give. My mother, my treasure, why can't we gather weather with father and swallow them all together? My daughter, my laughter, you are the river from which I know. You are the river from which we know love. It is and ever shall be. Pedaling through this channel at low tide sets the marsh grass in motion, wave upon wave. A narrow opening whispers a welcome. The craft glides forward like a blade through time, stirring up ancient and unvoiced verses 
the poetry of a people passing perpetually through tidal rhymes. The opening narrows, the mud flat rises, time, like this channel, drained of motion, locked in dreams. Disembarked footsteps sink deep into the waterlogged earth. To the depths of the bones that have gone before. To the foundations of a people who are here no more. To the incremental mysteries that betray no names. To the truths that lie disrupted beneath our docks built on top of graves. To the rituals of the people of Irene Mound. To the abundance of withheld stories still in need of being found. The spinning of the planet brings the ocean on the rise. Enlivened, our craft, its purpose reimagined, floats serenely over the salt marsh, scrubbing our shallow draft. To seek a life where truth is not hidden. And the eyes will burn out on its light. The truth can be entirely within. And with no further seeking. That we will no longer exist separate of ourselves. But as a walk in our own mind through a lens of beauty and illumination of the spirit. In many planes and paths, and as a ray of light, there will be no ceasing. As a wave that breathes for a moment, breaks, and then returns to the whole, but is not lost only repurposed as love that cannot end but only changes shapes pouring in and out of the light existing in as many ways as light can exist <coughs> traversing in as many places as light can be carried. Crying tears that are the happiness of becoming blind and illuminated. I can see forever without accessory, without accoutrement. Words and shadows, if ever these words should speak. Directed by Jerome Meadows. We would like to thank the Telfair Museum of Jefferson Center for presenting this performance, as well as the City of Savannah. With special thanks to Harry Delora, Senior Curator of Education. Thanks also to Marta and Chuck for providing staging and technical support. And to you, 
our wonderful audience. I now present to you our cast of poets, dancers, performers, and personnel, featuring Jane Fishman, 